My name is Eric Dozwa. I'm a, a colon and rectal surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. And I'm going to be talking about minimally invasive surgery for Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a disease that affects uh, about five in every 100,000 people in the United States. And the disease is characterized by uh, an inflammatory process in the body that can affect multiple areas, but primarily the gastrointestinal system. So the focus of treatment in my specialty is the effects of Crohn's disease on the small intestine, the large intestine, and sometimes uh, in the perianal region. Uh, the treatment of Crohn's disease is primarily medical. Uh, there have been significant advances in medical therapy uh, to treat uh, patients uh, afflicted by Crohn's disease. But patients that fail medical therapy uh, or have side effects to the medications will become candidates for surgical intervention. The uh, surgical treatment of Crohn's disease has evolved significantly over the years. And in the past, for example, uh, Crohn's disease was treated almost like cancer. When surgery was done, large amounts of bowel and tissue were removed in attempts to cure the disease. And then, as we learn, uh, that the disease cannot be cured by either medicine or surgery, uh, surgery became much less aggressive and was uh, downsized. In the past, uh, patients uh, would lose so much bowel that they may require um, nutrition through an IV, uh, and some patients lost their life with that type of treatment. The other major evolution in the approach to Crohn's disease from a surgical standpoint has been minimally invasive surgery. Minimally invasive surgery is an attempt to decrease any kind of, uh, in, in any way, any kind of trauma to the patient. Um, and we have uh, applied minimally invasive techniques to patients who require surgery with Crohn's disease, and it has been extremely successful. In fact, at Mayo Clinic, uh, we the, the minimally invasive approach to colorectal disease um, primarily focused on patients with Crohn's disease because oftentimes we're operating on a very focal part of the anatomy and it lent itself very nicely to uh, minimally invasive surgery which uses very very small incisions it uses uh, access points to the abdomen that are not um, as traumatic as, a, as, a, as an incisions that we've used in the past so uh, we uh, studied um, these patients to see if there was actual benefit uh, related to a minimally invasive approach. And when we compared patients that had minimally invasive surgery compared to open surgery in the setting of Crohn's disease, we found that there were significant advantages to a minimally invasive approach. Those advantages include uh, shorter hospital stay, less pain, uh, smaller incisions, and this is particularly important for patients uh, with Crohn's disease because they're often young patients. They can be teenagers or young adults, and cosmesis is important uh, to them. Moreover, patients with Crohn's disease will often require several operations throughout their lifetime. Up to 70% of patients will require two or more surgeries for uh, their disease. So if we can use a minimally invasive approach to their surgery, it's much less traumatic. One of the added benefits that we think we, uh, we achieve with minimally invasive surgery is that there's less scar tissue inside the abdomen. And this can be particularly important uh, because one of the most common reasons to have to do surgery again it's not related to Crohn's disease is because of bowel obstruction secondary to scar tissue that forms inside the abdomen. So we believe that this will also have a significant impact on that. The other added benefit in female patients is that less scarring inside the pelvis or around the pelvis may improve uh, fertility as we know uh, surgery does impair uh, a woman's ability to get pregnant significantly. So uh, we've, 
over the last 15 years now, we've used minimally invasive techniques in one form or another and uh, have studied several large series of patients now and published our data in terms of the benefits. We see a significant cost savings compared to open surgery. And um, the highlights of the minimally invasive approach in terms of patient benefit are less pain, better cosmesis, smaller incisions, earlier return to activities, and um, likely um, patients uh, who require multiple operations um, will uh, have less overall complications uh, due to this approach. The other uh, aspect that's um, important to consider is that some uh, believe that doing laparoscopic or minimally invasive surgery decreases recurrence of Crohn's disease, and we have not seen that uh, as of yet, but less trauma inside the abdomen may in fact uh, be a benefit also to patients who may get uh, recurrent disease. So. Um, we have now uh, used this approach as our primary approach to patients with Crohn's disease, even if they've had surgery before. It has become our standard approach because of the significant benefits that we see uh, um, in patients getting minimally invasive uh, operation for Crohn's disease. So uh, we believe uh, the future will continue to bring more advances and less invasive approaches to patients who require surgery. Uh, there's robotic surgery that's on the horizon. There are other uh, new technologies, uh, special cameras, special instrumentation, special access ports that make the surgery even less invasive. And we think this is, uh, this is gonna help patients even more in the future as we continue to evolve uh, this new technology in the in the treatment of Crohn's disease.